In this session, we're going to complete the alphabet, and we have completed the first 11 letters. Let's hear how you do it. Listen to me first, then I will be silent, and you will repeat after me. I'm going to take the first 11 letters in those clusters. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, He, Vav, Zain, Chet, Tet, Yud, Kaf. And now you. You remember that you must learn after each session what is required for that session before moving on to the next session. So I trust you have internalized those first 11 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. Let's move on. <clears throat> the next letter in our list is Lamed. Repeat after me. Lamed. Ul. I'm giving the sound after the letter. Again, Lamed. Ul. The next letter after Lamed is Mem. Listen carefully and repeat after me. Mem. Mm. Mem. Mm. Take a look at the chart and you'll see that Mem has a final, there's a final Mem. When the letter Mem is the last letter in a word, it takes on its final form. Notice that the final Mem is very pointed. I think that's how I recognize it, is because it's so sharply pointed there at the bottom. So repeat after me the two letters we've just learned, Lamed Mem. The next letter is Nun. Repeat, Nun, N. Nun, N. You note that Nun also has a final letter form, and it's the same formation of the nun, but drops down below the line of writing. That dropping down below the line of writing is very characteristic of the final letter. So we have a cluster of three. Let's say them together. Repeat after me. Lamed, Mem, Nun. Lamed, Mem, Nun. All right, let's, let's work on the next little cluster. Next comes our letter Samech. The end of that uh, name of the letter has that ch ch sound. Samech, repeat after me. Samech, s. Note that the sound of the Samech letter is the s sound, the s sound. S. Repeat again. Samech. S. Samech. S. The next letter is silent, just like the Aleph is silent. This is the letter Ayn. Repeat after me. Ayn. Ayn. Notice I don't make any sound because the letter ayin has no sound. Now, if you put a vowel marking somewhere around that letter, it's going to take on the sound of the vowel marking. One more time. Ayin. The next letter is pay. Notice we have two sounds. It's very similar to the bet. The dot in the middle gives us the sound of Huh. When there is no dot in the middle, it gives us the sound of f, as it is in an English f. Repeat after me. Pay. P. Pay. P. Fay. F. Fay. F. The letter actually is pay, not fay. But when there is no dot in the middle, it is pronounced like our English F, 
And in spelling a word that has the pay with no dot, we will often say fay for the letter. Notice that the letter pay has a final form. And again, instead of curving around, it drops down below the line of writing. So we now have a number of final forms. The cough has a final form. Mem has a final form. Nun has a final form. And now we see that pay has a final form. Let's go back up and practice our first little cluster of three. Repeat after me. Lamed, mem, nun. Lamed, mem, nun. Now we've added some letters. Repeat after me. Samech, ein. Samech, ein. Samech, ein, pe. We're ready to move on to the letter after pe, which is tsadi. It's pronounced like that T-S sound, tsadi. Tz is the sound, like a T-S. Repeat after me. Tsadi, tz. Tsadi, tz. Notice that the tsadi has a final form, and again, it just drops down below the line of writing. Repeat. Pei tsadi. Samech ein pei tsadi. Samech ein pei tsadi. Lamed mem nun. Samech ein pe tsadi. Lamech mem nun. Samech ein pe tsadi. One more time, the last cluster. Samech ein pe tsadi. Okay, let's keep going with learning our letters. Let's start by repeating those letters that we have learned in this session. I'm going to say them in clusters, but I'll say all of them, and then when I stop, you repeat. Lamed mem nun samech ein pe tzadi. The next letter is kuf. Up above we had the letter kaf that sometimes has a dot and sometimes doesn't have a dot. This letter is kuf. K. Repeat after me. Kuf. K. Kuf. K. The next letter is that guttural, you say it back in the beginning of your throat, your tongue drops back, get a little saliva in your mouth. The letter is resh. Repeat after me. Resh. Resh. That's a hard one. And again, it's hard to say just the sound unless you put it together with other things. This is the one I wanted to give you a word which starts with resh. The word is roche, which means beginning or head, the head, the beginning. Listen carefully and try to repeat the word. It's a difficult one because it has that guttural sound at the beginning, but let, let's try anyway. Roche. Now, what is the letter? The letter is, and repeat after me, resh. The word we're working on is Roche, which begins with the letter resh, roche. In fact, the very first word of the Bible is bereshit. Reshit comes from roche. 
and it means in the beginning. The be is it means in Bereshit in the beginning. So we have the letter Resh. Let's say the two together. Repeat after me. Kuf Resh. Kuf Resh. The next letter is Shin. Now let's take a look at this one because this has two sounds. It has the sh sound and the s sound. The difference is in the vowel mark over the letter. The sh sound is pointed on the top right of the letter. The s sound is pointed on the top left of the letter. Sometimes people will say shin sin. It's one letter, it's the letter shin. But it has the two sounds depending on where that dot is located. Repeat after me. Shin sh. Sin s. Shin sh. And finally we get to the last letter which is tav. Now tav has the t sound which is exactly the same sound as the tet. You see the tet up above? Chet, tet, yud. The same sound, two different letters. Repeat the last letter after me. Tav, t. Tav. Shin, sin, tav. Shin, tav. Kuf, resh, shin, tav. Kuf, resh, shin, tav. All right, let's say everything we've learned now in this session. Are you ready? I'm going, let me do this, let me say a cluster and then I'll stop and let you say the cluster. Then I'll say the next cluster and stop and let you repeat. The final cluster, stop and you repeat. And then I'll say all of them together, stop and you'll repeat all of the last 11 letters that we're working on in this session. Are you ready? Lamed Mem Nun Samech Ain Pe Tsadi Kuf Resh Shin Tav. Let's do the last one again. Kuf Resh Shin Tav. Now I'm going to do the last 11, and then I'm going to pause and wait while you do it. Don't worry if it's not real smooth yet. You're going to be able to practice this when this current session is over and before you start the next session. Let's try. Lamed mem nun samech ein pe tzadi kuf resh shin tav. me ode. I didn't expect you to be perfect, and I know you're stumbling, but you're you're coming along and you're doing well and your heart is in the right place and you are going to practice before the next session. So Tove me ode. You are doing a very good job.